widow of Thomas Carr, oh who many call the first martyr of Kansas. Thomas and I came to Kansas Territory in 1855. We came with a group of family members and friends from Ohio. We settled a few miles west of Lawrence, built our cabins, and began to farm. But Kansas Territory was not a safe place for those who believed in the Free State Courts. We could not openly oppose slavery, not even in small groups of family members and friends without risking imprisonment. Late in that year of 1855, the pro-slavery government called for volunteers to assemble in Lecompton on December 1st, and also at a camp on the banks of the Walkabusa River. Now, free state men went to Lawrence to defend that city That's against right. these pro-slavery forces. Yeah, it's crazy. And like that over there. <coughs> you know, we were so afraid there would be a war. I begged and I pleaded with my Thomas not to go to Lawrence. I told him, Thomas, if you should be shot, I would be all alone. Remember, I have no child, no one in this world to fill your place. But my pleading did no good. Thomas rode away towards Lawrence, and I watched him go with a feeling of dread. As it turned out, December 6th was a quiet day in Lawrence for our free state forces. So Thomas, his brother Robert, and brother-in-law Thomas Pearson, they left Lawrence to go check on their families for a few hours. They rode west on the California road, then turned south on a trail which led to our cabins. And it was there they saw the pro-slavery posse. Two men. George Clark of Lecompton and James Burns of Missouri. Both, both, both yeah. ruffians. They left the posse, caught up with our men, and asked where they were going. Oh, said Thomas. Clark told them the posse had orders from the governor to enforce Kansas laws. We've violated the laws, said Thomas. And when he said that, Clark ordered, he ordered our men to turn their horses around and to go with the posse. No, we won't, said Thomas. And Clark pulled out his pistol and he pointed it at Thomas. Now, my Thomas was unarmed. When Robert started to draw his weapon, Clark fired his pistol at my Thomas. There were several shots. I don't know how many. Thomas called out, boys, let's be off. And with that, our men galloped south towards their homes. They'd ridden just a short distance. When Thomas told Robert, I'd been shot. And he started to slide from the saddle. Robert grabbed him by the shoulder and he tried to hold him, but he couldn't. And Thomas fell to the ground. By the time Robert had stopped the horses and did find him, my Thomas was dead. At the time, I knew nothing of this, but a young man was sent from Lawrence to drive me to the Free State Hotel where they had taken Thomas. When he arrived at our cabins, he called out, Thomas Barber is killed. And that is how I heard of the death of my husband. Those words struck me like a bullet. I remember I cried out, Oh God, what do I hear? I don't remember the journey to Lawrence, nor the scene at the hotel. Friends tell me they had to forcibly hold me down in the carriage and then arriving at the 
hotel, I rushed to Thomas, embracing his body and kissing his face. I was mad with grief, and I cried for vengeance on his killers. It was only the counsel of Governor Robinson and others that prevented our infuriated friends from taking vengeance on pro-slavery men. Mr. Lane, Governor Robinson, and others, they spoke at the funeral. And then we took Thomas to that lonely prairie cemetery up on Mount Orient and laid him to rest. So many people came. The procession to the cemetery was almost a mile long. But this war we had all feared, now called the Walkerusa War, ended in a quick victory for our free state forces. Our sharps rifles and that terrible winter storm on the night of December 8th sent those pro-slavers home. And I was not left alone in Kansas Territory, but good friends and family supported me. I still have the land Thomas and I settled, and I shall keep that land, and I shall stay in Kansas Territory. And I came to this meeting today to ask for your support for the Free State Courts. Yes, it does look as if Kansas Territory will come into the Union as a free state. But Yay. we can't stop our efforts yet. Good men, such as my beloved Thomas, have paid a high price in their memory and for our future. Let us work to make Kansas Territory a free state. Thank you.